point is a technique used by uh, composers in, uh, in their music uh, in which they take themes and motifs and interlay them on top of each other. You can find five, six, seven different melodies existing at the same time with each other. And no voice is necessarily more important than another. First, it's the vertical consideration, mm -hmm. which has to do with the relationship between the harmonies of the independent melodies. Mm -hmm. The second consideration is the horizontal, where each melody should maintain its own individual and independent uh, texture. You can listen with a passive ear, it's still good, it's still beautiful, you can enjoy it. But if you want, you have the choice to put your ear, like focus on all the different melodies and themes that are going at the same time. And it adds so much complexity. One of the things that is interesting about counterpoint is that there are often moments of dissonance where, where the same theme, the same motif doesn't quite line up perfectly. And the concept of dissonance in music, for example, would be what we could consider difference in in different cultures or societies. When bringing this idea of counterpoint into the socio-political realm, like uh, Saeed did, we see that it's not only that the individuality and diversity is welcomed. It's not the mere coexistence of different voices that are happening at the same time, but also their confluence and their differences. It's conditional and it's necessary for the well-being of the solution that creates the community, just like in Counterpoint. If he goes somewhere else and sees another culture, lives another like life, you, he understands that there is a whole another way of seeing the world that is also correct. If we think of this in our real life, it means also different cultures to exist at the same time with relation with each other. So they're all always free, but at the same time they're always dependent on each other. I think we can see this counterpoint relationship between the interactions of us as students here at the academy coming from very different cultures, very different backgrounds, very different beliefs. You're much more likely to be able to understand some person's point of view than if you if you're never exposed to anything different than what you are used to. When one experiences this, uh, it raises questions always to you, and that makes you move forward as a person, I believe. And this is not only seen when we play music, but also in our interactions together as musicians and as people coming from these very complex places. This is actually, I think, uh, what Edward Said wanted in its first place, because everyone to exist at the same time in just in a human level is very essential for uh, us to grow in life, for humans to grow in life. And for me as a student and as a member of this academy, I feel very privileged that I had this opportunity of being here and in order to be able to experience this counterpoint and produce really this counterpoint uh, with my fellow colleagues. Thank you.